He works at OIT. <laughs> Alright, good evening everyone. My name is Rohit and I go by pronouns he or him. And I'm graduating with my master's degree in criminal justice. Woo! <laughs> As we are sitting here in this room filled with queer community and our allies, and if I want you all to take a moment to reflect on your queer identity and any struggles that you navigated as a college student at Rutgers Newark. I'm sure that you have endured numerous challenges that have been put forth for you to be sitting here proudly in your commencement regalia. I can see the smile on all your faces when you think of all the people who said that you couldn't do it and you are right here proving them all wrong. I want to take the next few moments to reflect on my journey as a queer grad student, queer international grad student. I wasn't the proud queer person that I am right now. In fact, I did not even consider my queerness as something to be proud of. I remember an incident that happened a while back when a person remarked, Oh, I didn't know that you are queer. I was like, you know what, that's not important, I just brush it off. In hindsight, it might not have been the most proudest moment, that's not something which I shouldn't have done but that has to do with my upbringing and my culture. I didn't grow up in a culture where being queer was respected. In fact, it was looked down upon. I knew that I was different when I was young itself. Let me rephrase that. I knew that I was unique. I knew that I was meant to be standing out. And I'm sure that every single person out here can relate to this as well. We are all different from the heteronormativity that exists in our society. We felt like we did just fit in, or at least I did feel that way. But as time went on, especially during the pandemic, I researched and found terms that I could relate to, being demisexual and sapiosexual. I felt a sense of relief when I could finally name what I was feeling. That was a sense and a sigh of relief. A lot of people did not know about these terms and I got the opportunity to tease them, to educate them and increase their knowledge. And at the same time, I did come across a lot of different people who thought it was stupid, not something important, brushed off. So because of these kind of experiences, that's when I did not openly talk about how queer I am. After joining Rutgers Newark, I realized that there was so much importance making, for making sure that students feel seen, heard and understood, especially through the Intercultural Resource Center here on Rutgers Newark campus. In the beginning, I did not understand the pronoun culture that existed in this country. But slowly, I got used to it and now I do introduce myself that way wherever I go. Apart from campus, I attended, I attended my first Pride March in 2022 in Jersey City. It was a wonderful experience. Thank you. And I got to meet and talk to people who are so proud of their queer identity. That was my first time being in a scenario where people are actually proud of their queer identity. And this also prompted me to do the same. I remember someone in the march telling me that one of the biggest pride marches happens in New York City mm -hmm. and I made it my bucket list item as an international grad student to go and attend that parade and that's what I did last June 2023. Hey. <laughs> during that parade, during that march in June 2023, I surrounded myself with people who are like me, who felt understood all their life. I felt truly seen and heard. When the whole road was blocked for the parade that day, it felt like true freedom within the chaos that exists in our society. I still share the loud noise and everyone around me with the chance of happy pride in the beginning and at the end. That's when I decided that I'm going to attend this pride march in New York City every single year from now. On campus, I got the chance to attend the various queer events and meet like-minded people. I always look forward to the rainbow cupcakes. You can see that. <laughs> I also attended drag shows at Rutgers and it was a fun experience. I never had the experience of actually attending a drag show and that Rutgers Newark gave me that opportunity. So for me to do something that I wasn't used to and something new and I hope to continue attending drag shows and supporting the artists. I got the opportunity to be an LGBT radio intern working under assistant director uh, Priyanka Bharadwaj so thank you for that opportunity. Because the safe zone training that I learned from her taught me a lot of new terms that I wasn't used to and it showed me that and it taught me the kind of support that I could provide to people around me and for those who identify as queer. I got to be involved and at least provide a safe space for other students 
something that I personally didn't grow up with. I'm grateful to be a change maker on this campus through multiple other roles, especially as a LGBT writer intern. I would like to give a shout out to my colleagues, Tyler, Emily, and Julia, and I'd like to say that I enjoyed every single weekly meeting that we had, a fun banter, joyful moments, sometimes healthy debates as well <laughs> during the events that we attended together. <laughs> One of the nicest compliments that I got from the queer community is that I give off a very secure masculine vibe, something I had never received before. And this also <laughs> made me reflect a lot upon the masculinity and how toxic it can be in our society. As I graduate from Rutgers University in Newark, I see a change in myself. I'm a proud queer person now, and I wear that identity first. In reality, thank you, thank you. In reality, Rutgers Newark is a safe space that can seem gated from the outside world. We know that the world out there is so cruel and unforgiving, but I have faith that we, as queer students, we are the stepping stones of the future student leaders in our society. We will respect and acknowledge the queer students and support them as much as we can. We will learn to know people and not judge them. We are queer and we are proud of it. I have hope that queer students, we will stand up for social justice at every single chance we get. Congrats to the class of 2024. Woo! <laughs>